Hi, my name is Carmen and I am the Chief of Operations here at the Sportsplex and today I wanted to talk to you about finding your why. So you hear people talk about that a lot, like you gotta know your why, you gotta know why you're doing things. The reason that that's important is because it invokes a feeling and it makes you think more about why am I doing the things that I'm doing from a place of a feeling instead of a what, right? So weight loss is like a what. What do you wanna do? I wanna lose weight. Weight gain is a what? What do you want to do? I want to gain weight, but why? That's a game changer because it's going to invoke a feeling inside your heart and it's going to help you bring your heart into the game instead of getting so caught up in your head. If it's just about weight loss or it's just about weight gain or it's just because my partner told me I need to work out or my doctor said I need to work out, it doesn't invoke a feeling and attach that feeling to it and it's gonna be way easier for your brain to step in and be like, yeah, but it's not really something I want. And fitness is such a, it's a long-term thing. You have to wait so long before you can see results. It's not like immediate satisfaction. So you need to be able to have a why in your heart to help keep you motivated whenever your brain starts getting in the way because it's not something that somebody else is, because it's something that somebody else wants, right? So, um, a couple of things to remember whenever you're finding out what your why is, is that it needs to invoke a feeling. So you should feel very passionately about it whenever you start thinking about your why. I'll give you an example. My why is because I like the freedom that fitness gives me. I have the freedom to go and do whatever I want because my body's not gonna get in the way. So that's why I prioritize fitness. I can go on vacations, I can play with my kids, I can go do whatever I want to do because my body's not going to be a limitation to me. I can fully participate with my kids and my husband and my family and the freedom that that provides me because I don't have health issues, I don't have heart issues, I'm not on medication, all of those things, that's freedom to me and that's my number one reason, right? That's my why is the freedom. Um, the second thing it needs to do besides invoke a feeling is it needs to be for you, not for someone else. I like freedom because that's a Carmen thing. For me, that invokes a very strong feeling in me. So it needs to be a you thing. Make sure your why has to do with you, not an outside source or somebody else or some other reason, right? It needs to be for you. The third thing is that it needs to be measurable. So make sure that your why is something that you can, am I achieving it? Am I not achieving it? Do I feel freedom? Do I feel sexy? Do I feel whatever that feeling is that you're trying to invoke? It can be vain. It's okay. I said sexy while ago. It's okay if it's a vain feeling. So if if that's a feeling you want, you don't feel sexy and you want to feel sexy, let that be your motivator. Think of times you did feel sexy. When did you feel sexy? When do you feel freedom? When do you feel healthy? When do you feel whatever that feeling is, right? Find a way to measure it and then find a way to repeat it. And caveat to that, it's okay if your why changes. My why is not the same today as what it was when I started really getting into my fitness journey 15 years ago. My why 15 years ago was very different. It's not at all what it is today. We won't talk about that, but it's not at all what it is today, right? Now my why is something that's gonna carry me probably for the next decade because it's become a part of who I am. So I challenge you to find your why. Find a reason that fitness can become a part of who you are. It doesn't have to stop with fitness. I encourage you to find a why for whatever the thing is that you're trying to make, make your goal. Make it something that invokes a feeling and invokes fire and passion. Something that ignites inside of you and will have the drive to have your heart carry you whenever your brain starts trying to get in the way of whatever that goal is. And if you need any help talking about that, obviously this is a conversation we would love to have with you. Good luck. What is your why? My why is why would I want to put myself in a situation or an atmosphere that doesn't have good positive energy, um, constant pushing, and just all around good people? Why wouldn't I want to do that? Like That's why I'm here. Just being in that good environment helps me thrive and do well outside of work and inside of work. Good afternoon. So. Today we will be talking about what is my why. I have a why for a lot of things. You know, you find yourself in a place where it's either you want to grow or you just want to be mediocre. And one thing I like about the sports place, it's a nice environment for everybody. Nice, kind people. For me, 
I discovered something new every day. And as I continued, I realized my why started to expand. So it just couldn't be one thing, but it started with one thing and it just continued to grow. But just to be here is growth here. So if you don't receive that, then your eyes are not open. But my why is, is, is man, it's big. So hopefully that consumes it all into one. Be blessed. What is your why? Uh, my why has uh, stemmed from a, a few things. Been under a lot of stress in my life, uh, a lot of things that I've had to overcome, and I've realized that I am the source of my own drive. I am my why. So, you know, getting myself in areas to where I can, you know, have the drive, I can have the support, and I can continue to push myself to success. What other place gives you the, uh, the support and the, the care that you need other than the sports place, you know? So uh, that's my why. Okay, so what my why is, is really just for creating a better future for myself and my family. I want to be healthy for my son and being able to like play catch with him, run around, go hiking, go adventuring. I want to be able to live a full life without having anything holding me back. I control like the movement that I'm doing, the workouts, the strength training, the fitness, the nutrition, all of that just comes together. And it's so important to take care of yourself, for yourself, for your family, for your friends. You want to have a good life to give to others, to give to yourself. So that's my why of why I take care of myself and my fitness journey.